All new at 6 now after discovering a security breach impacting nearly 58,000 unemployment claimants. The Department of Economic Opportunity says it's now locking compromised accounts. But as ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us, people trying to get their accounts back up and running simply cannot move forward. A recent security data breach within the Department of Economic Opportunity has claimants like Lori Detallo worried about identity theft. Immediately when I found out, I, I reached out to uh, my banking and my banks, everything that I could, the, uh, the credit bureau, everything. She froze her credit, which is what a cybersecurity expert told us is step number one when your personal information has been compromised. Step number two, change the pin code you use to sign in to connect. Every three days, I got to get up, you know, my, the pin reset. And I, it, it's, it should have to be that way. That's because for whatever reason, every time Detalo gets her account unlocked and resets her pin, a few days later, her account is relocked and the process begins all over. She received this message a few times telling her, quote, your account has reached the maximum number of failed login attempts. Two or three days later, I went back in and it did the same thing, too many attempts. So, you know, I said, well, I just got this change. So then I had to spend more time on the phone. She describes herself as a patient person, but says it's taking hours and hours on the phone and online to get her pin reset, only to loop back around. If you're paying millions and millions of dollars to have a system that's supposed to be in place and this happens and they have to shut down every weekend or every night, it's unacceptable. The DEO Help Center leads folks to a guide that goes through the steps on how to reset your PIN. But there's no way to send your info into the DEO if you've completed those steps multiple times and keep getting locked out. The DEO told us they did a force reset on PINs for those impacted by the breach and said their team is looking into the PIN reset issue. They also asked us to send in claimant IDs of people having any issues. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.